do we have to do this? We're not going to hurt him, are we? You want your money back, don't you? He's refusing to pay up, Mark. He's refusing to like the track. I told you you should have had a proper contract. How are you feeling, Suvans? Fine, totally fine. You've kicked the crack? No. So now I'll bang a load of Valium up me arsehole for the come down. What's this? Cover. As the cops turn up. Just a bunch of mates playing a lovely game of baseball. No, oh, Jeremy. Right, so what, you've had more thoughts about the track? Yeah, yeah, we have actually. Okay, great. Yeah, we thought we might smash your brains in with a baseball bat. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. See, we want our money and we're feeling a little bit clumsy. Whoops. Look, Jeremy, I've told you. It's out of my hands now. The Honda people are very hard to please. Oh, Honda, Honda, Honda. Fuck Honda. Nice uh, packet of crunchy nut you got here. Pretty expensive, as I recall. Not so rich and successful now with a piece of wood in your face. Hmm? Oi, cheers. Look, Jeremy, we, we can come back again. He's got the message. You're going to pay, aren't you? No. All right, then. We've got our answer. Let's go. I've got to hurt him on principle. Hit him with a fucking bat, Jez. Why do I have to? Why don't you do it? Punch him with the glove. Punch it? I can't even make a fist. This is the whole point about contract law. The whole point of a contract is to make sure this kind of thing never happens. Don't answer it. What if it's Honda? It's not going to be Honda. Could be Honda. All right, but a word out of place and you're getting the bat. Hello? Honda? Uh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's great news. Oh, well, I'm so pleased. Dave, call the police. There's people here. They're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill them. <laughs> Hello, uh, Dave. It, it's, it's Mark here. I, I'm an old friend of God's. D don't worry. We're, we're not trying to kill him. It, it's just uh, he's, uh, he, he's never had sushi before. He thought we were trying to poison him. <laughs> it's, it's all right, God. You, you're not meant to cook it. It's supposed to be raw. <laughs> can, can he call you back? What about going Litvinenko? Kill him? With polonium. Not full Litvinenko. Just a little bit of something debilitating in his pasta each night. Grind him down. Weaken him till he's all pathetic. And you can just scoop him up like a sick whippet and dump him. Um... You might quite like tending him as he grows weaker and weaker. Here's your tea, Jerry. God, you must get better soon. Oh, do sit up, Jerry, while I spoon you some more of this slightly silvery porridge. <laughs> Should I keep my voice down? No, he's an irritatingly sound sleeper. Earplugs and eye mask, the full blot. Well, we could start by just moving his stuff out. No, no, we couldn't. Could we? OK, we're nearly there. Last two. This doesn't feel good. It's fine, Mark. It's like a prank. Oi, oi. How's the ethnic cleansing going? Hands. I thought it might be a good idea to have some backup. I owe Jez. He took a bullet for me. You, you're a pure chrome dildo. Solid. OK. Everything's out. What now? We could tie him to a hot air balloon and he would drift away out of the window. Um... You like that? The hot air balloon? Or punch him? Hands? What are you looking at me for? You punch him. Maybe you could sit on him, intimidate him. Yeah? <laughs> Fart in his face. Psychological warfare. Yeah, grind him down, attack his beliefs. See, yeah, that, plus we fart. What is this, farty Guantanamo? No, I, I, th I think we have to wake him up. Just tell him to leave, like men. Or he is sort of bagged for our convenience. Hmm. What? We could just bag him up and sling him out. I'm definitely going to agree to this. I just need to put up an acceptable level of objection so I can be all reproachful if it proves to be a disaster, which it almost certainly will. No. No way. No. Well... OK, but on your heads be it. Baggy mans. Ah! Ah! Hey! Hey! Got him. Hey! 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 He's bagged. You fucking... What's going on? Sorry, pal. You are surplus to requirements. Put him out. I I'm sorry, Jerry. <laughs> Ow! Ah! I, Jess, I thought you were going to grab the other end. That's the normal way. The normal way? None of this is normal. I've got a verbal contract. He doesn't. You don't, Jerry. Yes, I do. Small claims court. I I'm not part of this, Jerry. Put him in the lift, hands. The lift? <laughs> fucking hell. You got a wheelbarrow? Why are you doing that? 
Miss Moore. I want to read my Napoleon correspondence and watch Storage Hunters. Does that make me a bad person? Don't put me in the lift. Stop wriggling. Shall I give him a kick? Don't, don't kick him. Do not kick me. Jerry, stay still. This will all be over soon. I'm being kidnapped. All good here. It's just a prank. It's high jinks. We're the Croydon Bullingdon. It's not a prank. Shush, Jerry. I'm calling the police. Shut it, or you're getting waterboarded. Do not bloody waterboard me. I warned you. Waterboard. <laughs> this is horrible. You two, seriously. You need to take a look at yourselves. He's right. Offensive behaviour. In he goes. This is against the Geneva Convention. I'm contacting the Citizens Advice Bureau. <sighs> I'm back, baby. The bitch is back. Bye, Jerry. You're not thinking of getting back with Sophie. Bit of a depressing backwards step. Yeah, well, April's kaput. Maybe that's just life. Your expectations get ground down and down until finally you settle for a life that would have mortified you 20 years ago. But now seems like a blessed relief. It's the journey of life. Like Radio 1, Radio 2, Classic FM, Heart, Magic, Dead. Mm. Yeah. OK, you ready? My recollection, so far as it goes, is that Jeremy did indeed make a significant contribution to the lyrics in question, i.e. the words, at all protected. Hi, Hans. I brought you a panettone. Sweet. What is it? I don't know. You see them around. It's sort of like dry old Italian cake. Right. Wicked. Yeah, and also, Mark had something to say. Um, my recollection, so far as it goes, is that Jeremy... Look, Jez, you were there, fine. You were part of a creative milieu. You contributed to engendering a vibe, out of which emerged my lyric. I wrote it. I know I wrote those lyrics, because I keep them in my lyrics file. You can't remember jack shit because you're a crackhead with a brain made of Swiss cheese. No, mate. I'm straight edge now. I walk the line. Molly won't even let me live stream the Spurs. We're going to come for you in the night. He might, but I definitely won't. Look, calm down, will ya? Sit in the bath and have a magnum. Wanker. Yeah, fuck off, Hans. You're the fifth Beatle. I'm the other four. Come on, Jez. Let's go. I've got to get to the kid cave. Hans's file. The proof. It's in there. And because I've got a genius IQ... Below average IQ. <laughs> I've cracked the code of the spare key. It's like cracking enigma, isn't it? Looking under all the different flower pots. Oh, Christ, Jez, not burgling. OK, I'm here to borrow a brolly. If anyone comes, I'm saying I popped in to borrow a brolly. Here we go. Apple grievances, lemmy, lyrics. Nothing. Nothing at all. Right, fuck him. Revenge. Revenge is the sexy man's justice. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, someone who is expecting cornflakes is going to get a big fucking multi hit of shreddies. Boom. That is inconvenient. OK, I'm going to lick these apples and put his bank card in the freezer. You start swapping the CDs into the wrong cases. OK, I'm going. Wait, watch this. Oh, Jesus, I'm a backup burglar. I'm a burglar's PA. No, Jeremy, really? Goldfish in the shreddies? Is that your budget version of a horse's head in the bed? It's the free gift that's going to send him clinically insane. Well, for God's sake, leave the snake alone. Hey, fishy. Hey, flatmate! Back from the dead, the zombie flatmate come to eat my brains and my cheddar. I've had a big think and decided you were right about me leeching off Sarah. So... I'm back! I've ordered us a pizza and I found an amazing YouTube clip of a monkey riding a pig. So let's just hunker down and veg out. Look, mate, you don't live here anymore. But I've moved all my stuff back. You mean you've returned my chairs? And my clothes and my porn case. Don't make me move that again. It's really heavy. Funnily enough, the weight of your old school pornography isn't breaking my heart, Jeremy. The damp's all fixed, Dobby's moving in and I... I can't take it anymore at Sarah's, OK? It's not just the S&M, it's the cooking and the cleaning and the constant dancing. I'm like some pole-dancing, oven-scrubbing migrant sex worker. Let me back into the first world, Mark, please. I'm sorry, Jez. I've got to tell Jez about Nancy. This will blow him away. Or could tip him over the edge. Maybe it would be kinder not to tell him. It would certainly give me a weird feeling of secret power. Jesus, what's that man doing? I should do something. If decent people like me do nothing, then what? Then they'll come for the trade unionists. Although that, to be honest, wouldn't really bother me too much. Hey, I know that weird run. Jeremy? Mark? What the hell are you doing? Oh. 
I got a bit drunk and posted that stuff to Big Stu's, and then I sobered up and sort of had second thoughts. For God's sake, Jeremy, that's the post you set fire to, the Royal Mail. That's like burning a swan. Oh, shit. Come on. I've already done running today. This is unnecessary exercise. What am I doing with my life, Mark? Finally. I'm such a cock ring. I drove Nancy away, Big Sue's left me. I just wish something would work out for me, you know? Maybe my life's just on the wrong track. I should tell him about Nancy. But I don't want to distract him from this massive dawning realisation. OK, I'm homeless and she's got her home. It's a perfect fit. Jeremy, you look terrible. What's going on? Oh, you know, Mark kicked me out so I don't have anywhere to live right now. But um, I'm actually really enjoying myself. Oh, Jeremy, poor thing. So, listen, I was wondering, um, depending on what you're doing and stuff, whether or not uh, I might come and live with you? You know I'm back with Alan. Oh, yeah, we can get rid of Johnson. I mean, the guy's a dick, so... He takes very good care of me. I could take very good care of you. I'm not a hobo. Look, Alan's in Frankfurt, but even so, I really don't think you can stay here. Listen, my sister runs this men's refuge. If you just cut yourself a bit, they'd have to let you in. Yeah? Yeah. Hold on, I'll just get the number. God, look at all this stuff. Lovely stuff you could steal, then sell, then eat, and... Is that Johnson's credit card? With the pin? Oh, if someone does that, you're supposed to rob them, aren't you? Just one sandwich. I'll post it right back. Thank you, Johnson. Got my rotisserie chicken, got my kilo of extra mature cheddar, bottle of Cristal... Gonna slip on my headphones, slap a DVD on the portable and have me a homeless hip-hop cheesy luncheon banquet. It's a victimless crime. Johnson will report it stolen. Who loses? Wallace and Gromit. Gromit doesn't care. Gromit's fine. Hi, just um, buy some stuff, if that's OK. Just tap in your pin for me. Here we go again. This is so easy. What's going on? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why won't it go? Nothing's happening. Shit, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to be tasered alive. I think your card's the wrong way around. Oh, of course. Wrong way round. <laughs> yeah. My card, my silly card. Bad card. Always wrong, aren't you, card? Calm down, not too much. And can I get 30, uh, 50 pounds cash back as well, please? 8008. That is a nice pin. Oh, Elgar? Why do you always find me at my lowest points, Elgar? So I have to jerk him off. But at least I get a lift home. Never mind. Only a few hand shandies between me and a home studio. I had a chance to think in Norway. Um, but us. Us? Yeah? I've never had to pay for it before, and I don't think I want to pay for it with you. Oh, right. So, can I stop doing it well I, I want you to keep doing it but i want you to do it because you want to do it it's just i don't really want to do it could i start wearing a mitten or maybe chuck a flannel over it it's just really difficult for me because i i, I really like you i just don't think we should see each other for a while i'm going away to get my head together no but the thing is i really like you too and I've been hiding my true feelings, even from myself, but now they're all coming out. <sighs> what a lot of feelings. I'm sorry, Jess. Home studio slipping away? No, really, I mean it. I mean, I like you. I mean, fuck that, I love you, and I want to have sex with you. No, Jeremy! Come on, mate, let me have a go on the old gear stick. I'll take it up to four. This is not what I want! Fuck off, Jess! So, as it stands, I'm failing to find work as a prostitute. That doesn't feel good. Still, got his house keys. If I keep working for him, he'll have to keep paying me. Mark, how's it going, you lovely rotter? Everything's coming up roses. April and I just had an overpriced coffee and did it in the toilet. Excellent. April loves doing it in toilets. In fact, 100% of the times we've done it, we've done it in toilets. 
I can't wait to do it in the bed. It'll be amazing. But the big news is that Angus texted to say that he's fucked off to Ibiza, of all places, leaving the coast clear for me to go off with his wife on the cruise. Me and April. April and me. Man, that is so great. I am really happy for you. You deserve that. Look, I just wanted to say, I, I, I know things have been a bit difficult between us over the last day or so, what with the punching and the blanking, but you're a good friend. Although I still haven't totally forgiven you, mate. I wouldn't have expected you to, mate. Uh, uh. Oh. Shut the fuck up. What was that? I've done something brilliant, Mark. Shut it. What the fuck have you done? I know it's my birthday, not yours, but I got you a lovely present to say sorry for making you lose your job and never paying you any rent and for falling in love with Dobby for everything. Fuck. Angus. Jesus, Angus, are you OK? It's fine. I wanted to come. Could I possibly get a glass of water? <sighs> they said they were going to chop my penis off and put it into another orifice. Oh, Angus, shush. Bants, mad bants. They said they had a sock with a rock in it. They made me drink urine, Mark, human urine. He greedily gulped from a bedside bottle that happened to be from the golden sauce. Let me go, Mark. Will you let me go, please? Angus, you, you must know I had nothing to do with this. There you go, you naughty monkey. Drink it nicely this time, not gulpy. Did you send the texts? Yes. I was worried Ibiza was too much. Was it too much? What the fuck have you done, Jeremy? I've done a good one. I've cleared the coast. The coast is clear. The coast is not clear. We're all going to prison. You've gone totally loopy. You kidnapped Angus. Or did I invite an unstable oddball for a lift in Hans's van, then back to here for a snifter, then he accidentally got locked in my room for a few hours? It's our word against his. <sighs> this is bad. This is really bad. This is brilliant, and it totally worked. You're back with April. Yes, until she finds out. I mean, what's the long-term plan? The long-term plan is sucky-fucky. Sucky-fucky is not a long-term plan. Look, how long's the cruise for? Months. Chuck a phone off the boat, first day, butterfingers, then work on her, cement things. You're in pole position. Mm. She does hate her phone. Exactly. I, I think we let him go and, and I take the hit. No, Mark. Sail off into the sunset and let your love butler take care of business. Ah! Fuck it. All right, leave him in there for now. Correct decision. There's always a dark side of love. Someone's always going to get a little bit kidnapped. Ah. Oh. Tensions man mm -hmm. against his own will. But I can get the money back. I know him. I can get it back. Mm -hmm. I'll jam a biro in his eye and drag him in here to death. Oh, not with a sandwich, not as your drink.